Hello, oh. it's Camille. Oh my goodness, it's a kitty. Thank Hello, you. Camille. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Are you always a kitty or is this just left over from last night? Actually, I didn't dress up last night, so this is my dressing <laughs> up day. Better late than never. Hey, it's All Hallows Day, so it kind of works. Yay. Yay. How are you? Um, kind of nervous because on election day, I'm going to be working a poll, a polling place. Wow. Well, thank you, number one, for, for doing that. That is outstanding. Outstanding, outstanding. Where are you located? San Francisco. San Francisco. Is everyone playing nice over there for the most part? Yes. Okay. All right. Right on. Well, I appreciate you doing your due diligence mm -hmm. and, uh, and helping out with that. Did you have a good Halloween? Um, nobody came to our house to do trick or treating <laughs> and like I kind of, my sinuses became irritated. So no. Gotcha. I know I put a cauldron full of uh, bagged up popcorn out in the front and it was gone. Now, luckily they kept the, the cold, they, they left the cauldron. I think someone came up and just scooped up the whole thing and <laughs> left. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did you did you watch the conversation with me and the, the lovely ladies? I did. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Did you have any questions or concerns? I had a Did lot you? of questions. All right. Hit, hit me with them. Well, I guess. Um, okay. So uh, one of my favorite illustrators of all time is Edward Gorey. I love um, Edward Gorey. Yes. Yeah. And I found out he lived in Massachusetts. So, um, oh my gosh, look at that. Yes. Something tells me, I, I, I mean, okay, maybe in that universe, maybe Edward Gorey came to the Sanderson house in the 20th century and sketched Binks and Binks became one of his little muses for all his little dancing cats illustrations. Oh my gosh. That is good. I haven't heard that. I love that. Cause I'm a big Edward Gorey fan and I would, and, and, uh, you might have hit on something there. Now I want to see like, if Edward Gorey were around or someone like him to illustrate the witches or maybe do a hocus pocus book in that style. My mm -hmm. father used to have a, uh, some Edward Gorey books and one was called the gilded bat. Oh my God. Yeah. And I wish I still had it. Um, I don't know if my, if that's my mom, if she kept it or not, but uh, mm -hmm. I would, I would look at that because I'd wake up before my parents did. And I would just obsessively look at that, mm -hmm. the, the illustrations in that. Wow. Very mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, uh, I asked, or um, and also I asked earlier in the chat box if maybe possibly uh, they had one if the if Binks was one of the cats that uh, resurrected Selena Kyle in Batman Returns because that's my second favorite cat movie, I guess. Uh, Camille, I love these crossovers you're talking about. Yes, I would like to think. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Batman Returns came out before. Uh, uh, Hocus Pocus, I think. I think it was 92, but why not? Why not? That mm -hmm. Binks was, was definitely there being like, hey, can I get anyone, anyone to help me with these witches? Even if it's this crazy <laughs> cat lady. <laughs> I'll take anyone right now, anyone to help me defend the virgins. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, looks like we're running out of time. We're out of time. Is it time for the photo? It is time for your photo. So yeah, okay. if you would like to look at your camera and smile, yes, snapshot. Bring in here. Snapshot in three, two, one. Perfect. <laughs> well, my goodness, thank you so much, Camille. You look like a lovely kitty. Thank you. You betcha. All right. Do you like older cats? I love cats. How about 300-year-old cats? Oh, totally. Fantastic. You can turn me into a fat, useless, content house. <laughs> Hello. Bye. Bye-bye.